Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at plotting points today on a plane. So we are going to talk about coordinates, x and y axis, and practice, practice, practice. So this is a coordinate plane, or sometimes called a Cartesian plane or an xy plane. Um, a two-dimensional plane is called lots of things. But the basic important parts here are that there is a, the horizontal line is called the x-axis, and that moves side to side, right to left. And then we have our y-axis, which is the vertical line in the center there that would move up and down. A point has two parts, or two coordinates. It has an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. I've color-coded them there to match the x and y-axis arrows there as well. So the first number in a set this is called an ordered pair, two numbers like that. So you'll get an x number and a y number. The first number that would be in this position, we call it our x coordinate. And it is how far we move along the x axis. Starting at this point in the middle called the origin, we would move left and right, right and left along here. The second number is your y coordinate. So whatever number is in there, we would call it your y-coordinate, and that's how it moves up or down. Now, you're not going to see the letters x and y a lot in there. Instead, you're going to see numbers. So let's go ahead and work with a number. Here's a number. It says, plot this point, 1, 3. So we start here at the origin, and our first number shows us, again, movement from right to left. So we'll start here and move right to left. It says move one space. That's our first number. So we'll go one space to the right. From here to this, that's one. Our second number is the movement up or down. So we would go one, two, three. And our point would be right there. That's the point one, three. That's how we plot points on a plane. And so that point there, that blue dot, represents the point 1, 3. So let's practice a little bit with this plane. I want you to pause the recording or pause the video. I want you to try to plot the point 3, 2. Find where you would point, put the point 3, 2. And you're back. Did you find 3, 2? Was it right there, starting at our origin and going three places, 1, 2, 3, and two places? So 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2. A positive 3 moves to the right, positive 2 moves up, and that is how we would plot the point 3, 2. Our next one is the point 2, 3. This is a common mistake that people make when they're first starting this, is mixing up the numbers, so I thought I'd throw out this example. Go ahead and plot the point 2, 3. Did you plot it right here? Starting at our origin, did we go 1, 2, our first number is how far we move right to left, and our second number moves us up and down. So we went 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3. That's the point 2, 3 in green. Now I want to, I need to address um, positive versus negative numbers. So I'm going to show you using this point, negative 2, negative 3. If you have a negative number in your x coordinate or in the first number, if that's negative, you would move left. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. That's just an example. If we had a negative y coordinate or the negative number in the second place, then that would move down. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So the point negative 2, negative 3, I would start at my origin and my first number shows that I'm moving to the left two places. My second number shows me that I'm moving down three places. And so the point would be here, negative 2, negative 3. Again, I start at my origin. I go negative 2, negative 3. Negatives move to the left. Negatives move down. First point is left to right. Second point is up and down. Now it's time to practice. You'll get good at this if you practice it. So practice that one. I want you to plot the point negative 2, negative 1. Pause the video. Plot that point. And we're back. 
did you plot it right there, starting at our origin, going negative 2 in the uh, right uh, horizontal, right? We're moving left to right. We move 1, 2. Then you go negative 1. That means we're going down. All right, let's try this one. We're mixing positives and negatives here, so be very careful. Pause the video. Try that one out. Hey, welcome back. Starting at our origin, we went negative 1, 2, 3. Our first number always moves us left to right. So 1, 2, 3. And then we went a positive 2, so we would go up two places, putting our point right there. Try one more here with a positive first number or positive x coordinate and a negative y coordinate. Go ahead and show me where that would fit. Hopefully your mouse went right there. We started at our origin. We went one space to the right and two spaces down. That would be our the point 1, negative 2. One more thing to talk about in this video, and that's the x and y axis. The x and y axis, we've been using them this whole time. The x axis is this line here. It's the horizontal line. Our y axis is our vertical line. The origin right here where we start is the point 0, 0. That's where the x axis crosses the y axis. That's the point zero, 0. It doesn't go left or right from the origin and it doesn't go up or down. So we're going to plot a point zero, 02. And this is a little bit challenging because we have to remember what each number means. So we're going to start right here and we're going to have our first number show us the movement right to left. The first number is 0. So how far does it move right to left? Nothing. It doesn't move left to right. Our second number shows the movement up and down. So it will go positive 2, so it will go up 2. And the point will be right there. So if the point 0, 2 is right there on the y-axis, we're going to do a little bit of practice. But it's important that we note that when you have a 0x coordinate, it's going to be on the y-axis. So let's practice with a couple of those. Go ahead and plot this point, 0, negative 2. Where did you put it? Put your mouse on the screen there. There you go. Boom, it should have hit right about there. The point 0, negative 2, it does not go right or left, so it stays on that y-axis, but it goes down 2. Try this one, 0, positive 1. Put your mouse on that place, and I'm going to make the dot appear. 3, 2, 1. Boom. There it is. That's where that one should be. Again, zero movement right to left, but we're going up 1. So our x coordinates are all zeros when the numbers are on a y axis. Now let's do the opposite. Let's go ahead and look at points on our x axis. If we plot the point 1, 0, we will move one space, we'll start there, sorry, and then our first number says we move right one space. Our second number shows us that we do not move up and down. The zero means we don't move up and down. So our point's going to be right there, one, zero. This is a point on the x-axis. So now let's practice with a couple more points on the x-axis. Plot this point, negative three, zero. Plot the point negative 3, 0. Put your mouse there. Boom! Negative 3, 0. So again, it's moving left in this case from the origin, but it's not moving up or down. The, the value for our y coordinate is 0. It's not moving up or down. The next one, 2, 0. Put your mouse on the point 2, 0. And I'm about to color it yellow. Boom! Right there. So that's the point 2, 0. Again, 2 is our x coordinate, so that's the motion along the x axis, and 0 is the y coordinate, or in other words, the amount it moves up and down. It doesn't move up and down. So just some points to remember. If the coordinate is 0, if the x coordinate is 0, it is on the y axis. If the y coordinate is 0, it's on the x axis. Other than that, it's just practice, practice, and some more practice. Here's a couple more videos you can check out. Hope that that was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.